didn't he have some um it seems like there was some uh pedophile action i don't know I, i'm not sure but it seems like what wasn't there some stuff like uh, that? more pedophiles <laughs> pedophile hour. Jesus remember you know i remember when the internet was more than just pedophiles <laughs> flinging pedophile accusations at each other that's why we need to go to web three so we can just leave all this shit to all the pedophile people it has it. how you doing man a little out of control i'm doing good man how you doing pretty good um <laughs> What was that? Uh, did you Photoshop that picture of PPP? No, no, that was real. Oh. He, and like I said, the only thing I could think of was Worski had to have painted him like that. Um, what did he paint so... him with a fucking? Uh, <laughs> he, he used the paintbrushes they used to paint the Brooklyn the, the Golden Gate Bridge. What was that? I don't know. He using a scroller? Like, <laughs> Dude, that's all I could uh, think of because he couldn't have done that on his own. Uh, and so that's well, all I can think of. he'd have had a heart attack. He'd be so right. exhausted from all that effort. <laughs> well, how could you even can get you to some of those areas? McDonald's? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll can pull. you pull up the McDonald's, the McDonald's uh, pumpkin bucket that they used to give out? That's all I could. I kept thinking it does, of that, that he was. <laughs> it does look like that. By the way, Ocean in the super chat says you should have played Armored Core Six. It's really fast paced and spastic, perfect, perfect for tards like me. You know what? I'll try to add that to the list. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can find the McDonald's bucket. That's all. Of course, this was all over my timeline last night, and you know I've really not been paying much attention to those guys. Um, but it was kind of hard not to see that. And then that's all oh, I can think. Oh, Rob, I think. Yeah. Something tells me that a lot of people haven't been paying attention if PPP is painting himself like, a, like the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> well, I talked about this at the at the top of the show. They're literally I, I was like, well, I've been eating sandwiches the last few days instead of tortas. And then some other idiot was like, Ralph can't even afford tortas now. I'm like, okay, they're getting pretty desperate if that's what they're <laughs> if that's what they shifted to, they're getting pretty desperate. And then about me wanting a dog, and I even said that I I mean I would like to have a dog. Are you but gonna it's eat kinda... the dog? Right. Is that the plan? <laughs> is there is is a is a torta a Mexican delicacy? That I mean, I've been Mexican my whole life, so I know that it's not. But do they know something that I don't know about Mexican tortas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not a delicacy. There's like 15 torta shops within I don't know one mile radius of my house, uh, and you know there's different varieties. Some of them are a little more splendid than others, or whatever. But it's just a Mexican mm. sandwich is all. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not that big there he is there he is <laughs> at first i thought he was satan and i was like wow man that's uh those nipples are fucked up uh but then when you were when you were talking about it i saw that he was a pumpkin um, yeah I that's cool know. i don't know i don't know but uh yeah maybe they got the spray like whatever that the spray painter you know what i'm talking about with the hose on it and sprayed him down like that i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. What Plus if that was the end? What if that was the guy that Linus was waiting for? At the end of the great pumpkin. It's like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Snoopy was right. <laughs> Plus, the it's great like pumpkin Charlie Brownie's here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also October fourth or third, I guess. Yesterday when he did that, like, wouldn't you want to save that? I'll pull it back up for people who didn't see it at the top of the show. Wouldn't you want to save that for? later in the month i i don't know um but uh he blew his load yeah he blew he his blew load his, early his, he blew his halloween load all this over is... all over the place i don't know uh what are you gonna do for halloween are you gonna do something like that can you out top this uh i don't know my girlfriend uh texted me today she's like you know what we should go is uh is indiana jones and lara croft and i was like yeah that's i mean i don't know if that's i was kind of thinking i would just paint myself orange don't you think that would be better <laughs> than this? but then and go naked don't you think Damn that it. would be and like paint my dick green do you think that would be better <laughs> and then you could go as uh charlie brown that would be a better couple you got costume. scooped i didn't get a response on that yeah i got <laughs> scooped though so <laughs> Now, okay, let's go into the Eric July stuff. You're ruining his business, Dick. Why do you why do you keep persisting in ruining ruining his business? No, I'm ruining his business. Is <laughs> He's that not your same? partner. He's not your partner, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I, I've hey, just when been... I hit my head, when I got thrown into my that concrete at Netflix, um, did all the brain damage go to null or something? <laughs> 
you and know, not to me. Did that happen? So why don't you break it down? What happened with you and Noel? I mean, I already know, but uh, what, what uh, was the falling out there? I don't know. It sounds like, okay, it's hard to piece together. It's honestly hard to piece together why Noel, like, turns on people or gets upset with them. I don't know. He seems to be very upset with Nick right now, and I don't, I don't know why. Um, Nick's always been nice to him. I don't, I don't know why. Like, it makes no sense for Noel to just make enemies. He's one of the most hunted people around. He doesn't have many friends. Um, whatever. Uh, I, think, I think he got mad at me when, uh, when Riley was – Noel was calling Digibro a pedophile. Like, Noel was saying Digibro is definitely going to rape a kid. He's a pedophile, blah, 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 blah. Digibro used to call into my show all the time. Or every once in a while, you know, as people do. And Riley was a friend of Digibro. So Riley just started, R Riley was a, a close friend of Digibro. So Riley said, oh, you call my friend a pedophile. All right, I'll start making fun of you. So Riley would just tease him uh, in Discord all the time and say like, oh, you're, you're a nerd. No one likes you. Uh, and Noel took that personally. And I think he's like, I think he, had, he concocted this, this conspiracy where everyone was against him. And I was like directing Riley to, to tease him or something. Um, that was the last I heard from him. Then he, then the next thing I'm, next time I heard from him, he was calling me like, a, I was saying wild shit. I heard him say that I would sell my kids to, to Epps, to, to Weinstein to get a TV deal, which I mean, I don't know. Weinstein fucked women, not children. So I don't think that would do me any good, but I don't know. It's, uh, ever since then, then it, then it turned into a, something with Nick over Drexel. Uh, I think like, Honestly, I don't want to say it, but he seems just like people are saying he sounds like a scorned ex, which is kind of weird, but I see what they're saying. Um, you know, and it continues. Now he's pissed at V. Now Vito's a pedophile. Everyone's a fucking pedophile who I happen to hang around with. Now, yeah, and again, I kind of know some of the background. I didn't really see the falling out with Ricada. I'm trying to be diplomatic too. He said some nice things about me, oh, or whatever, yeah, yeah, but yeah. trying to be diplomatic. Uh, but also we have to cover it, right? I have to talk to you about it. Um, <laughs> but what, what is the veto? I know veto catches a, a lot of heat. Um, you know, he made some jokes on Twitter or whatever, and they were a little off color, I guess you could say. Um, but I mean, Man, I, I made worse jokes than that. Like every, like yesterday, <laughs> like, <laughs> Just because he's like a fat liberal and they're like, oh, yeah, let's fucking kill him. Yeah, he said we like, oh, yeah, really? Is that what the problem is? Vito said we one time. OK, no, I guess no, I guess none of you have ever made child rape jokes then. Cool. Good for you. <laughs> I just know he catches a, a ton of heat. And uh, I guess that's kind of how this Eric July thing started. Wasn't it with Vito? Yeah, Vito was Vito said that Eric July's comic um, uh, is gonna it sucks and it's just like something that culture war like people who are like obsessed with the culture war vibe and he's he's like uh, Vito said he's only popular because he's a black republican so all the republicans push him and shill his shitty product and his product sucks and we all me included make made fun of him for being jealous for like a year and then uh I was on Nick Rakita's show and one of one of Eric's friends was busting my balls for not reading the comic so I read it and Turns out it was, it's just hot garbage. Turns out Vito was right, which is like the worst thing ever. Uh, and Eric, so I reviewed it normally, like just a normal review. And Eric fucking melted down. He's been melting down. He's been melting down ever since because his entire life has been in like a, like this, um, this token. He's lived this like token luxury his entire life. He went to school on an athletic scholarship. So like, because he's black. And then after school, he starts giving these very like simplistic talking points about Republican politics, which of course they push him to the front of the blaze and push him to, and all these push him to the front of the blaze because he's black. I'm like, we're not racist. Look, this black guy is saying all this conservative stuff. And then after that, he's like, well, I'm going to make a comic. There's a lot of money in comics. <laughs> so by the way, I have stolen the shit out of that uh, black exploitation music. That under his rants it's perfect isn't it i try to give you credit it's just so funny it just fits i saw even the puppet show stole it too which made me laugh <laughs> even harder 
it just fits so so well, uh, and it makes his rants more tolerable too. If I have a little black exploitation music playing underneath, uh, but yeah, it fits it fits really well. Then there was one that was like, "Put your money where your mouth is." I'm just like, "Okay, this is this is getting too good. This is getting too good. They fit so well." Uh, he can't fucking speak. Like he's he talks like a he talks just in in gibberish. Like he talks in like a. A, a mix of like uh, just Ebonics and like Valley Girl. Like none of it makes any sense. You can pull maybe one thought out of a paragraph of his jabbering. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so Eric then decides to sell a comic. And of course all these, you know, white comic guys are like, yeah, this black guy's, he's saying that, he's saying that uh, black Spider-Man isn't really Spider-Man. Let's put him, let's get him out in front of here and show everybody how not racist we are. Okay, but then it turns out his comic sucks. And they all have to keep defending it. Like all these guys have to keep defending his comic because they promoted it and suckered their audiences into blowing $35 on this shitty culture war book. Um, so this is, I think this is like the first time somebody white has ever said, hey, Eric, like you're not any good. And of course this <laughs> caused an existential fucking meltdown on his behalf. It's the first time he's ever write, written anything. He didn't even bother to get like a story editor. He has no fucking idea what he's doing. The comic is total trash. Every nobody, his friends won't even read it because they know how bad it is, and they'll have to either put their reputations on defending shit or say it was bad and risk Eric Eric July throwing a giant tantrum like he did with Nick Ricada. Well, that's a, so. I, I don't understand why he's so angry. I mean, he's made a lot of money. I guess it just he just can't stand it, right? Like uh, socioeconomic reasons. That's why he's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> but this doesn't make sense to me. It's like, dude, this is going on. I don't know what, like six, eight months now. I, it's been most of the year. Uh, and the Riley thing just sent him over the edge. By the way, I, you didn't send Riley to do that for the record, right? I mean, you don't have to tell him. No, because I never would have thought that Eric would react like this. <laughs> I said, Riley told me about that bit. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, whatever. That sounds like it'll be kind of dumb. Like, it sounds cute, but dumb. By the way, uh, you can definitely go to people's industrial warehouse and knock on their door. Anyone who doesn't believe that's fucking retarded. You definitely can't. You can't shoot somebody for showing up at your business and knocking on the fucking door. Well, it's crazy. He wants to shoot him, and then you see his fans, and they're like bloodthirsty. They want to shoot this guy, and it, you can't just shoot somebody for coming up and knocking on your door. You have to fear. I mean, look, I'm not a lawyer, but I said the same thing Ricada did. It's like, okay, I know a little bit, right? You have to have, you know, uh, imminent threat, right? Or imminent fear of bodily harm and all this stuff. Even in Texas, he's like, well, we don't play this in Texas. It's like, okay, well, there's still, <laughs> there's still okay. a law, well. right? You can't just shoot somebody dead. <laughs> it's not Somalia, bro. You can't just do whatever you want. <laughs> if there's two people I'll trust on the law, it's Nick Ricada and Ralph. I'd probably trust them equally on the law, actually. By the way, no. You know what, Ralph? Let me ask you this. So I think uh, whenever when I hear you say the N word, I believe it. Whenever I hear Eric July call people the N word, which he does all the time, I don't believe it. I think he's putting on like I think he's doing blackface to make I, himself seem more black to his white fans. It feels like that, doesn't? Now I, you know, I'm from Memphis, of course, and that word was used all soft day, uh, but I heard the other version yeah. too, uh, plenty of times where I'm from. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, it rolls off my tongue because I've, you know, I grew up saying that, right? Like I don't have to, I don't have to put on an affectation, but he does, and I, you know, I didn't know that he was part of a homosexual dance troupe allegedly, or or, or whatever was going on. He was a break dancer. Uh, that's pretty weird, isn't it? Yeah. You see those moves he's doing with his I did. red sauce and being silly? Ooh. This and Check then he was out. getting down low with whatever that was. Um, he doesn't highlight. Uh, he doesn't really highlight that uh, that chapter of his career very much, I don't think. But uh, he was in a no. – this is the name of the movie. I, it's not me saying this, but uh, Fag Bug Nation. I don't know if you – if you saw that as well, it was a pretty. I heard about that, and he he said he saw that car, and he was gonna go like go over and smash its windows or flip over the <laughs> table they were at or something. I was like, wow, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little extreme. I don't, some kind of moment he was having. I don't know what to call it. Kind of a strong like reaction, that. unless you're you know compensating for something there, isn't it? Yeah. I... Yeah, it's called a hate crime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go... You can't, you can't smash in the windows of the bag bug or whatever it was. <laughs> You're going to lose your scholarship, bro. That's how athletic scholarships get taken away, bro. <laughs> Try out for a scholarship. Uh, yeah. That line. Right? Like, he's a... just like, he's, 
he's just enjoyed this uh, this bubble of like low expectations his whole life and been given free shit by white people. Well, I didn't realize um, how many uh, you know money men were behind this. I didn't realize the Blaze had put money behind this and people behind this. And then when he put out that video <laughs> about you know he acted like he was going to sue you and veto for what I don't know, but uh, and yeah. It got all this attention and quartering was like anything you need, brother, anything, whatever it was. He said, anything you need, I'm there. And all these people just falling yeah, all over themselves. Yeah, flipped the chair around. Yeah, quartering pulled up his chair and flipped it around. Like, yo, brother, you and me go way back. We're both, we're both athletes and creators, you know, of sorts. We're both, we're both fighting the system, right? Your comic book sucks. Rumble sucks. Let's team up against Dick and Vito. <laughs> Like Michelle no, Pfeiffer no, in Gangster's no, Paradise. Yeah, no, go. Rob, I'm, att I'm attacking their business. I'm att What the fuck are they? What is attacking a business? What the fuck are these morons even talking about? Attacking a fucking business. Oh, guess what? I hate a lot of businesses. I hope they all go under. Chase Bank. I fucking hate Chase Bank. Don't use Chase Bank, Ralph. I use Chase Bank, but don't fucking use Chase Bank. <laughs> Drive them out of fucking business. Don't watch Disney movies, Ralph. Don't go to McDonald's, Ralph. I'm going after their business. What the fuck are these guys talking about? Well, their whole stock and trade is going after businesses, right? Especially the quartering. Like, how many videos has he done on, you know, Marvel and all this stuff? Well, I mean, that's going after somebody's business. And if you want to, you know, further the analogy, going after streamers, right? Like, if you're talking about, that's my business yeah. too, right? Like, okay, well, you're attacking my business when you're attacking, if you go by that train of thought, right? All like, of, Dude, all of Kiwi Farms hunted kettles to another country. They lost that war, but they still tried to do it. I mean, it's like, it's fucking... They're such uh, pearl grabbing little pussies all of a sudden because because Null has a hard on for Nick Ricada. I don't even know why. Like I don't know why he's he's compulsively siding with Eric July on this. So, someone who is uh, who is objectively a gibbering moron. Like nobody can make sense of what Eric July says half the time. He's a fucking idiot. I don't know why anyone would defend that. It's hilarious to watch him flip out. He's so dumb, and he said the word polemoth. I don't know if you heard him say this. <laughs> yes, I saw, yeah, play it. Can you play it? I'll see if I can find it. I have it it's somewhere. It's comic book. Polymath is the word, by the way. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I saw him. I didn't understand what he was saying at first. And I was like, oh, he means polymath. Yeah, okay. Uh, polymath. Uh, he really is just that dim. And nobody made him get on Ricada's stream. He forced his way on after he'd already yeah. talked shit about Ricada. And Ricada was kind of yeah. nice to him really um until a certain point right and he's the one who forced his way on there to look even more retarded so Dude, why should you feel sorry uh, for him when, so i went on after after eric forced his way on um Riccati's show uh and of course eric, eric's got a ton of fans so they're all like they're badgering nick and being a cocksucker to him like you tricked him to sound like a fucking moron because you're a <laughs> lawyer and you're schooled and making someone look dumb as fuck like well, you know, lawyers don't always make everyone look dumb as fuck. Um, so Nick sent me a link. He's like, here, if you want to get interrogated. I came on the next day in a stream that is now deleted. Um, and I said, Nick, like you, you and everybody who talks to Eric, you speak to him like he's a, develop he's a developmentally disabled child. Like you, you pause, you use small words, you don't speak naturally. Like all of you know what I'm saying, that he's fucking dumb. When you speak to me or other streamers, you speak normally. You don't like it's. I mean, I can't even. I can't even draw a metaphor of comparison because it's racist. What you guys are doing is fucking weird. How does nobody see it? Not me. Well, he's that dumb. I mean, you kind of have to talk to him like that. And anytime he, I guess his scripted video. So I watched his moving different. He's moving differently now, Dick. I, I watched that yeah. video last week. He's, he's got moving. armed guards at his yeah. warehouse full of no comics that nobody wants. Yeah, I, but I, I saw it and it was like, well, at least he makes a little more sense. Now, I don't know how many cuts it took for him to actually make sense uh, there. But uh, whenever he talks live, um, you know, just off the cuff, he says all these words that he doesn't really know what they mean or how to pronounce them. And then it's like the syntax, he, he just, I don't know. It's all over the place. Like it's its actually <laughs> it's hard to understand. Yeah, it's literally hard really, to understand. He went to college? Well, I heard that he, again, allegation. I don't want to get sued by this fucker, but uh, I heard that he yeah. may have lied about some of his uh, collegiate uh, accolades there at Texas A&M and some other stuff. I heard somebody called them up, and they said, no, he didn't graduate. So uh, he supposedly has a communications degree. 
<laughs> Which is, uh, uh, yeah. I called him up and they said that he didn't graduate because he failed out of retard class. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, I, I don't even understand. I said this on the show. He made all this money. How did this even happen? Were they just looking for, you know, somebody to prop up who was black? Like, I mean, you know, I hate to say it like that, but it seems like that's the case. Yeah. Um, I think that, I think that all of these guys thought that there's, well, cause they're used to funding these comics that are made by, by comic creators that got kicked out of the industry. Like Ethan Van Shiver's incredible talent. Yeah. So he made a comic book and then everyone backed it. Doug Tenaple, incredible talent. And then I think they just kind of assumed that Eric July, huge star, came out, is doing a comic. They just kind of assumed that the quality was guaranteed, but it's it's horrible. Um, guys who've been creative in Hollywood their whole lives know how to take criticism. Like they don't have their identity and their ego tied into their, their artwork. Uh, and Eric doesn't, like, because he's never written anything in his in his life. So I think there's a lot of, it's like the perfect storm. It's a perfect storm for me to come along and just start fucking with somebody. <laughs> well, he's too emotionally attached to the character because it's like a stand-in for him, basically, right? Uh, and yeah. so, and even so, like you said, people who've put out a lot of stuff or, you know, written stuff, and it's like, well, you kind of just got to take the, the criticism with the praise, right? Like, that's... That's how it goes. Uh, and maybe work on getting, you know, maybe a lot of times it's like, okay, they have a point with what they're saying. Think about that for the next time you write something, right? It's not, uh, you know, they're haters, but it's also like, well, sometimes the haters got a good point, <laughs> right? Like, okay. Yeah, I, they, yes. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, I'll take some yeah. notes. I'll take some notes and, and do better next time. Now, he didn't do that with Isom too. Uh, from what I've been told, uh, I, do you, I wait, Ralph. Do you remember? Do you remember your first, the very first pill stream when me and Dame Pesos came on the stream after afterwards, like yeah. the next day? Yeah, I do. And you said, uh, you said, well, yeah, I gotta ignore the haters. I said, well, don't ignore all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them had a point or two that maybe I should have taken yeah. to heart. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is like, it's like, okay, you know, that person, maybe they don't like you, but they said something that's true, right? Like, okay, yeah. let's take note of that. Yeah. And, you know, it's, I've had starts and stops uh, on that front. But, uh, and again, I know how I can go and you get into the spiral and you just feel like you got to respond to everything, but you really don't. And <laughs> nobody's making you do that except yourself, right? Just stop. And he just won't Definitely stop. don't. <laughs> Don't go on Nick Ricada's show and when he begs you not to talk about your charity shenanigans, don't steamroll over him and oh. start quoting figures off the top of your head that make it look like you're running a giant fucking scam. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to move on to that too. So the charity aspect. Now, I don't think too many people think he's going to be, you know, fucked over super hard from that necessarily. Or I mean, could be, right? But it's more of just you're obviously – fucking up by volunteering this information and he says it costs 17 to deliver and then he said well no actually it's 13 and then he's got a promo code where you can buy it for five dollars <laughs> right. i guess he's losing 12 dollars out of to fulfill those orders right and I of mean, course I he's not <laughs> uh so like if you're willing to sell it for five but you're charging people who are donating to charity 17 why did he just give some Isom comics to this charity? Now, it turns out the charity, I didn't know this at first, but they give comics to, like, kids who are sick or dying or whatever. Not necessarily the greatest charity ever. No offense to the charity. Yeah. I, maybe fundraise <laughs> for their treatment or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but, okay. Oh, uh, what material. did they go with the, with the, what was yours, St. John's or whatever the yeah, fuck St. Jude's, that was? Yeah. That you yeah. St. Yeah. Jude's? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A comic, maybe That's they would better. prefer a new lease on life. I don't, I don't know, but uh, here, take this shitty comic and read this kid while you're dying. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Um, but that's the charity. He could have just given some of the comics to them. He could have just given them money, right? Like I don't. My thought process well, is he was trying to. Guy said. <laughs> is it what he said? Go no, go ahead. You go ahead. What he say? So all this, all this shit started when when Eric started threatening to sue me, like a. Like, you know, like every libertarian ANCAP does, the first time they're getting teased on the internet is they're like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna sue you, okay. <laughs> um, one, of my, one of my fans 
wrote to the charity asking if they, if Eric did have a relationship with them and if he was giving them money because like only a, only a complete stupid moron would think a $17 comic book is how much it costs to give a comic book to charity. Like it's $2 to make it. I mean, how, if you ask anybody on the street, Hey, how much does it cost to make a comic? Then you're like, I don't know, two bucks, three bucks. So you sell a bunch of, you get a bunch of charity comics together, put them on a big pallet and then ship them the pallet for like $200. I know how much freight costs. It doesn't, the guys driving trucks all over the country aren't billionaires. Like that's not, it's not very expensive to ship pallets around. Um, Palletizing. So we started asking, yeah. So we started asking questions like, okay, so what's Eric giving you? Is he giving you money on top of the comics? And the guy said, we'd much rather have money. I have shit loads of comics, uh, but I don't have money to ship them to like, the cancer kids and the military guys that need them, which should be obvious. Like all of this shit, you know, there's, there's billions of comics in the world that are great. Like old, old comics, boxes full of them in storage and that people just want to get rid of. Of course they need money more. So I started raising a sink about it. And all of a sudden Eric starts, Eric gave him $8,000, which I said, okay. I mean, that's good. But was this, is that 8,000 because of me? Because it kind of fucking seems like it. Can you produce any emails saying that this deal existed before me? And then he threatened to sue me. So I was like, okay, so <laughs> it seems, seems like this is because of me. Actually, 8,000 isn't enough. You should be giving them the total amount of money. Like, fuck this, you need, to, you need overhead shit. So really, I'm left with the impression of he needed a bunch of cash, which happens all the time. Like, People get over their head in buying warehouses and buying forklifts and making animations and pretending to be a big uh, co comic tycoon. They lose a bunch of money. I mean, it's like a lottery. Like, look, I don't have to explain how an idiot could waste a bunch of money. And you need a couple grand real fast. Well, where do where you think it's going to come from? You got you to gotta gin it up out of thin air somehow. So I don't know, like this is just, this is just something that it looks like it makes sense that way to me. It's something that happens all the time, like little scum fuck moves to pocket a couple grand that no, no one's ever gonna call out because the charity gets a little bit of money, it's fine. And his fans are too stupid to care. Um, but that's what I, that's what it looks like to me happened. Uh, he, can, he can, he's free to dispute this with receipts and facts and statements, but. Yeah. Well, and I saw people and you know, I don't have any names, but they're like, oh, it's a couple comics. Well, look, he said it was over a thousand uh, mm -hmm. comics that he sold. So it's twofold. First off, <clears throat> I think he wants the money. But second off, I think he wants to boost his numbers as well. So he can add that into the sold total. And he likes to talk about he sold more than Marvel or copy or whatever. Uh, so I think it's for that. But also, you know, it's not just a couple comics. And you multiply that times 17. Well, it's $17,000, right? Uh, and yeah. You know, a lot of money. He, right? That's a good chunk of change. It's not just a couple comics, and he already had the comics. He could just, like you said, take the couple hundred dollar hit and send them over, or better yet, just say, "Here's a great charity. I'm a comic book guy, and I, you know, the success of Isom. Let's give back. Here's this great charity. Here's their, you know, method of do donating whatever you want to say." Here, white people have been giving me money my right. whole life. I'm gonna give some money back to white people. Right? <laughs> well, he still would have got the. You know, people like it when you donate to charity, mostly. Uh, and, yeah. you know, it's like, okay, that's good. Eric July is a good guy. He's helping this charity. But he wouldn't have got the money, and he wouldn't have got the extra sold total there. So I think that's why he didn't do that. And it was something that he was looking for, right? Like, just a little... Man, I don't know why people are busting my balls on this at all. If, are you kidding me? If Marvel or, like... Or uh, uh, what's that bitch's name that they all hate, Captain Marvel? Yeah. With the feet? What's her name? Uh, if any of these motherfuckers, if any of these motherfuckers tried to do something like this and then got on the internet and a bunch of, of mumble mouth goop fuckery came out of their mouth when they're explaining it, they'd be they'd have ten videos about it by noon. Well, they do. I mean, Cording is the one that just astonished me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's Brie Larson. That's her name, by the way. Brie uh, Larson. Yeah. He's done. I don't know. 200 videos on her or more and they've all done this oh woke shit and you know sometimes we've covered it or whatever but honestly i'm just over that i don't really care what they're doing right uh it, it better be something really crazy I, I just don't feel like arguing over the little mermaid and fucking uh, <laughs> you know marvel yeah. it's like whatever like who little cares mermaid is black right fuck, okay man. yeah oh, bambi's sure. gay. yeah bambi's <laughs> always been gay bro
Yeah, it's just I don't know. Yeah, There's like the economy. Tell me about that. There's just a lot more important shit going on. It's not that we wouldn't cover if it was something like really outrageous, but I just don't. It doesn't get my goat. And then the quartering, who's made a career off of this, just gets so up and basically turn on you. I'm not trying to get you to go in on him harder than you have, but like I no, saw I that. No, it pissed me off. Yeah, well, I saw it and I was like, yeah. "What the fuck? Did you see this? Right? Like, oh, what?" And you know, you've been nice to him, had him on the show, and you know, he just like did a 180 out of nowhere because that's where the the grifting was going, and he could have just stayed out of it, right? Like, I don't know, I, I was taken aback a little bit, even for quartering uh, when I saw. I don't know that. why. I don't know why Mel can't understand why this is funny. This is like this is an entire industry of phonies and grifters that have like exposed themselves because of me making fun of one guy like i mean this is like dr phil but against no fucking dr phil was a republican too it's like dr phil against com but comic book nerds <laughs> I, I i don't know how he needs it i don't know why he needs it explained to him over and over again uh but it's definitely funny when you've seen the dominoes fall and it gets worse and worse the further along it goes uh, but you know you, you've seen you've seen the dom there are a couple exceptions i think um van skyver has been pretty honest with uh, you know what he's been saying he's fantastic yeah, yeah yeah so there are some exceptions there i don't want to say everybody um but for the most part everybody <laughs> And you, and you see him, uh, you know, just get so worked up. Yellow Flash, I know that's one of your favorite guys. Uh, oh yeah. And he's just Old like come ears. <laughs> <laughs> what is his problem? I mean, he's like maybe one of the most flagrant, and uh, you know, he's really been out of shape about Vito, but he's been out of shape about this Eric July stuff, and. It's clearly just an, I don't know, it's just performative for so many of these people, right? Like, it's not even, you can't even take it at face value. They're just out there, and they stay in a circle, and they all promote each other's stuff, and they all get the same pile of money, and it's very obvious to see, right? Like, it's not on the up and up. Yeah, Eric July's like the Jesse Jackson of comics now. <laughs> like, all these white people have to come, like, kiss his ass to get their own shitty comics sold to his dumb fuck Vin Dom pigs. Dude, uh, that Chuck Dixon part so of that funny. the Chuck Dixon part of that puppet video yesterday just had me dying. Holy fuck. <laughs> it was so good. There's so much original content coming out of this stuff too. Right? Like I know. I, it's it, it's like Maddox all over again. All of a sudden all the really smart, talented people are like, Oh, I see what's going on here. Let me make some content around this. I'm like, yeah, this is that's what happens when you really got when you really got something everybody fucking hates and you can finally expose it. Uh, yeah, and everybody's seeing it. Um, and I, I love this. this sorry, I love this business thing. I saw Null. He's like, "Oh, you're you're maliciously going after." His, hey, do you think Null has a has a, uh, an effect on his voice to make it sound deeper on the show that he's doing? I don't know. I, I I'm not sure about that. I do know that voice maybe Chad stuff does. Like that will do that, but it sounds. I haven't listened to him in a long time, but it sound his voice just sounds different now. Uh, I don't know. Whether, anyway. Um, uh, fuck, what was that? Oh, yeah, this whole maliciously going after his business. Like, guys, his biz, his quote unquote business is making a comic book. Like, there is no, there is no going after a business. It's a guy who's making a comic book. There's no business other than that. You can't go, you can't maliciously go after a business by reviewing, by saying someone's comic book is terrible. You retards. Well, it's like saying a movie's terrible or a book's terrible or like all these fuckers do every single day, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make it yeah. now. If you like literally sabotage, you know, and like called up his supplier and was like giving him wrong information or something. Like, I mean, okay. Yeah. I guess I could see that. Yeah. Um, if, I, if I had like a train robbery and yeah. I robbed all of his incoming comic books before they yeah. had to be sold yeah i guess that yeah. would be fucking that would with be other business. crimes yes yes plus <laughs> several other felonies right yeah i <laughs> train robbery it's just bizarre and and again by that logic you know you're fucking with anybody's business whenever you talk bad about them online right like because okay well they're a public persona and you're fucking with their business uh and then i saw uh someone posit that you were trying to get sued uh, by Eric July, are you trying to get sued by him? I don't really know how you could, but man, I, at this point, I think he will. Um, I, I think that would be that would be the ultimate irony: uh, a Texas ANCAP guy trying to sue, getting ass fucked by a California <laughs> court. Like California is very protective over speech, 
yeah. more so than any other state. So that would be a very ironic conclusion to this story. Another a Black Maddox lawsuit 2.0. Well, I've um, seen some ironic things happen in California courts myself, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know how you. Well, I guess it's like watching people say that. Like you can kind of, it's kind of a tell in their mind for like what they think of me. Like they think I have so much power over this domain that I can like beguile someone into doing a lawsuit, which costs a hundred thousand dollars and it has to go through like multiple lawyers who are all who've been doing it for decades like it's not just something that happens easily but in their in their minds this is something that i can just conjure up by making fun of someone uh it's really funny when you take a step back and look at these preposterous things they're saying well, and then he tried to say, well, I didn't say they did it. He was just flat out lying in parts of that Ricada stream. Uh, he was like, well, I yeah. didn't say they did it. And I, and I, I don't know. It was just it was just a really bad showing. And we watched the whole thing. And I, I can't see anybody watches that and says, oh, you know what? I'm on Team Eric July. Unless they have a financial motive, right? Okay, then I understand. It's like yeah. it's, about, it's about money for, you know, quartering some of these other people. But um, or maybe they just don't like you. I guess that could be it too, right? Like they're just gonna take the yeah, that could be part of it. The opposite side, but uh, it was just it was just <laughs> mental. Uh, now let's see. If Chat's got any questions? Submit them in. I, I'm trying to think of anything else on the Eric July right. front. Um, where maybe a lawsuit? I mean, honestly, that'd be good for you. I, I do agree with that part. Like you'll just make more money <laughs> if, he, if he did sue you. Uh, so. <laughs> That part of the analysis I actually agree with. So, um, you know, we'll see if anything comes. I mean, what has he got to lose? I guess at this point he's, uh, he's all in on this narrative. So maybe. Um, yeah. Now, what about the show this past weekend? And Oh, yeah, you can super chat in questions too if you want. Uh, what about the show this past weekend? How did that go? I was going to go, but it was such a hassle and I got so much stuff going on. I know. On. I kept yeah. I kept thinking you might show up at the uh, last minute. I, looked, I looked at flights even that Saturday. One would have got in at like 530 and I was thinking uh, about it, but I was like, nah, I'll, I'll say it. I will come out that way sometime, though. But how did it go? It was great. Vito missed his uh, his weigh-in. He's trying uh, to lose. He's in a weight loss contest, and he missed his, his weigh-in by uh, by a lot. So uh, that was funny. <laughs> Vito needs to get on the torta then, diet. Uh, That's what I was telling him. Uh, he needs to get on the stop drinking Mountain Dew <laughs> for breakfast diet. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little ways off. What what was the goal and what did he weigh in at? Well, he was supposed to lose, I think he was supposed to lose six pounds and he ended up gaining 10, I think. I got to go, I got to go consult the tapes, but he gained a lot. Yeah, that's not good. I lost six pounds last week. I shouldn't ride away. <laughs> it's been melting off. What are you down to? Uh, I was 190.9 this morning. So. Ooh. Yeah. Shit, yeah. you're finally you're uh you weigh less than me. That's a, I'm now the fattest. Yeah, well you're tall though. Friends. Uh but uh <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm getting there. I want to get down to about 160. Now that's pretty low. Um but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm out of the I'm just overweight now. So I'm not obese anymore. Yeah. So I was I was monitoring that. Yeah. But uh, what all else happened? I saw you gave Riley the employee of the month. <laughs> I'm sure that'll die that'll tamp down the <laughs> outrage. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ralph, that's malicious. I mean, you don't understand how many felonies I'm breaking by giving that black to Riley. That's an accredited employee of the month. I fully endorse Riley's antics uh, <laughs> for the Clippers. And I saw his mint salad also blowing up. I, I didn't see her appearance on your show last week, but she's been blowing up a lot oh. recently. Um, pull up her. Wait, wait. Pull up her. Pull up her on my shirt. Her tits look enormous. It's amazing. They are gigantic. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. Whew. Let me see it's if long. I can. <laughs> I'm trying to get Riley killed so I can move in on those tits. <laughs> Let me see if I can. I'm uh... playing. I'm playing three double D chess. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send it to you right okay, now. Okay, you're gonna send it to me. When did here. everyone turn into such a bitch? Where they're like showing up at somebody's business it's like a crime and you're getting shot and like teasing somebody's comic book is like all this retarded pretend legal shit it's crazy dude uh let's see okay i copied it i'll send it to myself over here now also and i'll pull that up in a second but um what about the guy who got stabbed in new york the other day um the antifa guy <laughs> who got stabbed in new york wasn't that great i've been watching that all <laughs> over and over <laughs> <laughs> I saw people giving you shit over it because they're like, you're celebrating too much. And you know what's funny is we had the 
So the original um, footage, I guess, was obtained by the the New York Post or whatever, and they cut out the part where he actually gets stabbed, and they cut out the part where he trips over himself, literally. Uh, well, he doesn't trip over himself. He trips over the bench that you rightly point out that they had uh, changed it so that, um, you know, so people can't lay down on it, basically. Um, so yeah. your reaction to that, I've been following that on Twitter. Uh, and I'm trying to send myself this link. I don't know why it's not. Gonna yeah, it's it. like it's like uh, it's like these progressive shit bags. Like they move, they make they make minorities poor, like with their policies. Okay, and then they also make it so you can't arrest them. Okay, so and then they also build them like a bus system so they can uh, drive around to buy weed or whatever, not go to work. Like okay, and then they also put these like spikes and shit on the bus bench. So homeless people can't even lie down on them because God forbid a homeless person like lies down on anything but concrete. And then this jackass, this Antifa guy, so starts, finds out that his hood whispering shit doesn't work. So he turns around and tries to run and immediately trips over a bench and hits his stomach and his face on the defensive oh. architecture. Probably wind, winding him definitely and probably knocking him out or dazing him. So and then the guy, you could then the, then the guy jumps on him and stabs him. Like the guy w probably wouldn't have stabbed him if it wasn't for that um, split second of of weakness from all of his retarded policies. Well, and he just Great. Saw, so first off, this guy sought out the confrontation as well. Jesus Christ! There's mint salad on the <clears throat> on the uh, stream there. I don't know if the chat can see that or Whew. not. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, she can throw a punch too for those. <laughs> <laughs> for those you who don't know tits into it. You put your hips into it. You put those tits into it. Wham. No wonder she can throw such a haymaker. But um <laughs> but for those who don't know about the about the um well I lost my train of thought there. I sound like Eric July. Um mm -hmm. but um what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay. So the guy walks up to the, he could have just let this guy alone. He was over there ranting about I don't know some schizo shit or whatever, and I think he was like kicking a garbage can or some shit. So this Antifa guy yeah. decides to go up and think it's a good idea to start talking to him. Now I saw you were gonna write a guide for how to walk through the ghetto. This is how not to walk through the ghetto. Yeah. Uh, if you're a white guy, liberal in a suit, and you decide to go and interfere with the mentally disturbed person clearly having an episode <laughs> like maybe back off don't do that uh and then he falls you got the wrong shoes for this kind of encounter right buddy. yeah this he is not dress shoes this is not good and then he falls and trips over the bench and he's just laying there with his chest exposed and the guy just stabs him like eight times in the chest <laughs> <laughs> then what about his girlfriend his girlfriend didn't seem to give a fuck and then she wouldn't even just because she's one of these antifa types as well she wouldn't even describe the yeah. killer to the police now they have pictures of him all over the place now but um is that a w oh, or an l for women yeah go ahead that's uh, and you know well the only part that uh at the end of the video too then the girl this black girl walk randomly walks in and she goes follow that guy like what <laughs> why did you tell why did you just tell a woman a black woman to follow an unhinged murderer who just That's killed somebody in front crime. of you. You don't follow that guy, yeah, actually. <laughs> do not follow that guy. Like, what do you? Why follow him if you're not going to even give a description of what he looks like to the police? You fucking cunt. What is the? What was the point of that? She does follow him too, which I, I don't know what happened know. to her. But like, <laughs> I got to write, write a guide for black people too. Hey, look, if, if a white person tells you to do anything, don't. It was bizarre uh, all the way around. And then the media, of course, said we don't have a description of him. It's like, OK, well, he's on footage like right here. Uh, I have a description of him. All right, well, uh, go out and start arresting people. And see if you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just uh, bizarre. Uh, let me see. I think that's I'm trying to think of what else you've been talking about. We covered most of the stuff, though. Um, what do you got cooking up on the on the dick show coming up? Uh, fuck, I don't know. It takes me, it takes me a little bit longer to recover from these live shows than it used to. <laughs> I might have some, I might have some big back by news coming up soon. Uh, we've been working on that behind the scenes a lot. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll post it when it's in. I don't want to, I don't really like hinting around news too much. Yeah, um, 
It always bites me in the ass whenever I do that. So uh, I've tried to stop. You know, they've taken to contacting. They've always they've done this for a couple of years, but they've taken to trying to pressure guests off the show now, like really hardcore. Now, obviously, I wasn't worried about doing oh. that to you, but they like that's why I haven't been announcing my guests for the most part, unless I know they're super solid because they send them emails. They try to brigade them on Twitter and Ralph did this and that. He had a phone out with this person and that person. Uh, so, yeah, I've had to get a little more crafty there uh it hurts the hype but uh you know it's kind of necessary these days but um yeah man i appreciate you are these guys on. crying about eric july's life ruination the ones that are doing that <laughs> no of you? course not of course uh, not for the no, most part they different. support eric july which i don't know if that's just <laughs> like i said because they don't like me or you or Ricada or what but uh I, I just honestly don't see how you can support this guy if you have a couple brain cells but um they do. I don't. You know what? I don't. <laughs> I just. I do want to say. Uh, I don't have any hard feelings to null. I don't give a shit about it. I. I, I really don't give a shit about any of this. Um, people are gonna think that's like he doth complain too much, but this is. It's just like af, after Doctor Phil, this, there's like 61 million people. You know, I don't really give a shit about a couple thousand retards that are telling me I'm going to prison. Um, I just. I wish Noel would stop pretending that he's medically diagnosing people with like alcoholism and brain holes and all this weird shit. I have not heard him get, I have not heard him get facts correct for a long, long time. And he's only getting worse. Um, so, so just take a, take a, take a second, man. Your, your forums gassing you up. I've seen it happen a lot. It happened to fucking low tax, uh, pump the brakes on this shit. Nick's a good guy. He's always been in your corner. There's no reason to fight with him. I don't care. I know you. I know Noel will never be okay with me because he has, it, he's insisting to his audience insanely that Vito is a legitimate pedophile with zero evidence. But uh, at least be cool with Nick. This the fight you guys are having is retarded. And I think there. I think Noel and Nick are closer. Like you and I are cl are closer. Yeah. In personality, I think Noel and Nick are very close in personality, and that's kind of driving this uh, this like familiarity and this this sort of like resentment that's brewing. I think that's that's part of it. Um. But I, I think I think Null should knock it off and stop picking on Nick. Well, I said this at the top, top of the show. It would be great if we could just roll it back to, like, February 2020. Uh, in a lot of regards for me. I <laughs> if we could just uh, me wake up tomorrow and it'd be February 2020, and I just know even, like, 20% of what's happened since, not even the whole deal, I I'm thinking I that I could really make a path. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we all used to be good friends, and the internet tears people apart. But me and you are still good friends, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, promote your – rates back. Uh, uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Dick Show. Yeah, see you guys. Thank Everybody. you, sir. Appreciate it, man. Dick Masterson here on the Kill Stream. Yeah. Round of applause. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.